Okay, we're back to Faces for Radio. We're back. That... I'm pissed. <laughs> I've made it outside, but it's this, not any better. This used to be funny for me to watch, but we are far past that point where I'm kind of just, like, sympathizing. Like, this doesn't... This awesome. looks. This looks ridiculous. Oh, man. No, I was... I was thinking about it before, and I'm just wondering, like, what other games have, like, other people played that have been, like, super hard? I mean, like, there are some games that are structured around that concept, like, like, Castlevania and Prinny and the Impossible Game, but, like, what other games, are, like, do you, can you think of, or that you've played that, like, weren't meant to be impossible, but they certainly as fuck felt like they were impossible? can't think of many. Shadow of the Colossus, for me. That's probably just because I couldn't get around the controls. Oh, so I'm at a dead end. I have to kill them. Really? Yeah. This is good, because this is what I was hoping would happen. Was I would just get to a bullshit, crazy hard level. And awesome. they haven't even told us what we're fighting the teddies for. Because God hates me. <laughs> it's the it's... Illuminati. I can't even laugh at jokes right now, dude. Like, I'm so fucking angry. Well, this is Face is for Radio, so we have to try and find some type of humor in it. It's it's funny it, it how will... bad I'm doing at this. It will be funny later. It, it, it won't. I will not. I, I think you'll laugh later. I will not. Like, the reverse of me telling myself to edit things so like maybe oh shit is there something it, back there i don't know no so wait can you recap for me tommy bro what was that, that little dude's name and like the armored vest is that I, tommy i don't know what the fuck his name is. is is he dead dude you are asking me so many questions i cannot focus on anything right now i'm sorry <laughs> Well, uh... Like, well, I'm trying just to not die. So this will be our first primary episode of Face for Radio. Yeah. Um, let me try and think of some... Oh! Awesome! Holy shit! This is so bad! This is hard as fuck, dude. Oh my god. No, uh, I'm trying to think. There's like a shooter where there's... I want to say it's Bioshock, but I don't think it's Bioshock. This kind of reminds me of Bioshock 2, where, like, they introduced the concept of the big sister to you. And, like, not the first time you fight it, because they set you up for success. But every time after that, if the big sister comes and attacks you, which is completely pointless and random, by the way. Like, as far as I can tell, there is no method or madness to whether the big sister shows up or not. It depends on whether you save her or kill the little girls or whatnot. It doesn't matter. She will eventually show up. And she will chase you not only through the level, she'll chase you across levels. So remember there once being a time, I, I, I feel like, I don't remember where I was. But I remember it was like the first level, where it was the level where there's a dude and he like knows why everyone's dead. He flooded some like area and he killed a bunch of dudes and he's like, mother needs to find out and you can choose whether to kill him or not. I ended up pissing off a big sister because big sisters get pissed for whatever reason. But I remember being like, I'm at the very end. All I need to do is talk to the dude and get out of the level and she can't chase me. Turns out in the next level, she could still fucking chase me. And the whole reason I was running is because I was out of life. I was out of Eve hypos and I had no ammo. So I had to keep just tr retrying the level until I could run past her enough to get to a vending machine and spend what little money I had on like the most basic bullet ammo ever. It was awful, and it pissed me off. And that's what this kind of feels like. Where, like, they put you up against a scenario that you're not prepared to deal with. And... I don't know, this game really hasn't set you up to understand how this is supposed to work. Like, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be shooting these guys. I but running doesn't do anything, so... I don't, I don't know where you're supposed to go. Another part, going back to the Half-Life 2 conundrum... Like, there's another really hard bit in that one. I can I can usually do it on my first try now, but the very first time I did it, it was impossible. And it's where you're inside, uh... 
Oh man, the names of these places are escaping me. I apologize to everyone, but there's a segment where you're inside the base, like one of the end bases, and like there's like four separate doors the enemy can approach you from, and you have to wait for Alex Vance. So it gives you like a bunch of turrets and ammo, and it's your job to fend off enemies from four separate sides all at the same time. And you have, it's essentially like a tower defense. You have to keep resetting up the turrets and like fight the guards off and shit. That shit took me hours to do. Like, it was so annoying. Can you rapid fire? Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, I thought you were dead. Oh, shit, I said something. There's one fucking dude left. God damn it. I'm so fucking angry, dude. You don't even know. I... I think I do know, but I can't, like, empathize because I haven't played a game like this in a while. Games that make me irrationally mad. My girlfriend... I, I don't feel like this is irrationally mad. Well, no, 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 sorry. But, like, a game where, like, I shouldn't be as mad as I am, maybe. Um, you were mentioning earlier, it's, like, it's a simple video game. It shouldn't be this hard. So, like, the game is hard for you. But, like, you feel like it shouldn't be, so you're, like, like you get, like, that, like, gamer confusion. That was me. Well, this this game has never been this hard before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is, like, you were mentioning difficulty curves, and, like, you're sitting here wondering, like, I haven't had practice doing this because this game got super hard out of fucking left field. I called it gamer confusion. That's probably not a good name for it. It's probably the same reason I get pissed off at games where, like, I die a lot, and I don't know why. That's something I really value in video. Where did that guy even he come from? He comes there every fucking time. And I it, usually if I can kill the other dude, I can take care of him first. This is fucking uh, tough. Uh, that is me. I'm done. I'm done being pissed off at it. I'm done. I'm just going to beat it. This game's awesome. No, I've thoroughly enjoyed my adventure playing this game. I, I really love this game. It still is... It is still my favorite game, even after this bullshit level. So, can you, like, rapid put away your weapon? Can you, like, fire and then, like, jump? I don't know. Because I feel like what happens up here is, like, the two guys pop up at the same time. You try and quick draw on the one of them, and the other guy is able to shoot you. Are you able to, like, fire and dodge? No, not really. Because, I mean, I have to be doing this in first person. Here's the plan. Here's what I think. Well, there's only this one dude left. Well, no, the guy pops up on your right. Yeah, well, these guys don't pop up till I get closer. Oh, the, the two guys back there? Two guys pop up What here. I was going to say is run forward, let them pop up, and then run the fuck away and hide behind this one, this little, like, crossbar back I'm, here. I'm going to sh I'll try that next time. Oh, come on. Damn it. There's three that pop up all together. I was hoping I could kill two of them and then kill the one. So I'll I'll do what you suggested and just I run until they pop up. This looks fucking tough. I don't understand why they made this part of the game so hard. Well, it doesn't. Knows? It makes no sense. Well, I was thinking like, cause game designers like I'm assuming they take a lot of time to like play through this. Yeah. Which means that they, at the bare minimum, they've had to play through this at least once as the game designer. So there must be like a tactic that's very unobvious. Yeah. I might not even have to kill them. Well, I don't know where you can go. Can you run straight back? No. No. Nope. That fence is in. I don't know why they made it bazookas. Like, if they were using the machine guns like before, this part would still be like. Decently difficult, but not impossible. Yeah. Because, like, you're outnumbered for once. Oh, you're supposed to hop the fence there. Are you sure? No, but the fence is, like, crippled in. I could totally hop the fence if I could... They snipe. They have perfect They aim. shoot me in the air. <sighs> Man, this is tough. I know. I apologize to... Our viewer, because <laughs> this is gonna be a rough episode, dude. I know what I'm gonna do. 
And what are you gonna do? Oh wait, we can't now because it's like 11 at night. But the next time we're hanging out, I'm gonna take you to the Bat Cave, and I'm gonna buy you a Surge. Will that oh, make you feel better? That would make me feel better. I'm actually already... I already feel better. Just think about it. So, A, shout out to our our old manager and best, like, best buddy, Quinn. We love you. And the Bat Cave, the local card shop that I absolutely adore and love and I like, go to for all of my like trading card game needs. But uh, because they just can't stop... They're, they're it, not... They're not, like, giving us money for no, that no, no. plug. No, I, I, I love that place. I go there. Now, I go there, like, because of the customer service. I'm not big in any trading card game scene. No Pokemon, no Magic. Like, Jesus. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I, I think I have to just run there and run back. Maybe. That's the only... But I love that place. And because the back is cool, and because our old buddy Quinn works there, he decided to start ordering the old fucking soda Surge into the store it's 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 awesome when i was a kid from the ages of like 12 to like 14 i had a surge bucket hat remember those were a thing the old like fisherman cap but worn like stylishly <laughs> stylish well you like they were like part of like the big scene before fedoras it was like the bucket hat you remember that shit no it was it was around the same time that vests became huge do you remember that? I'm hallucinating. Nah, dude. Best. Well, you went to you went to a different middle school than me, so maybe it was just uh, my middle school. Yeah, that must have been a public school thing. I can't <laughs> I can't take credit for that joke, but it's funny, so. No. Uh, yeah, I remember that everyone was wearing bucket hats around. They they usually have like a big ass logo on them and whatever. And um, I had a surge one for many years. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I'd find it. My fucking camera. So one, two, three. Okay. Jesus, I feel like your strategist, like, Your Highness, come in from the left. Yeah, no, that doesn't work either, because of course not. I don't know, like, if there's... I don't... I got it, I got it. Okay, so the three pop up at once, right? And in the center of those three, there's that crossbar. Yeah. You have to kill the one on your left, and then immediately hide behind the crossbar so the other two can't shoot you. Did you see me try to kill the one on the left? Yes, but you ran back. This time, run forward. Because remember how you were, like, waiting, and you'd snipe one, the other one would kill you? Run forward on the left side, shoot the guy on the left, and then hide behind the crossbar. Okay, I'll try. If this doesn't work, please like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I'm not going to get the chance. So, uh... <laughs> don't listen to me. I didn't even get you there. Do you... Th are, so, are you, like, adamantly frustrated enough that when you beat it, you're going to be excited? Or are you just beyond? I am... I'm at the point now where when I beat it, I'll be like, oh, yeah. I, <laughs> so, I whenever you're, whenever you're done doing this part, you'll be like, in our next broadcast, and leave the room? <laughs> <laughs> like, pretty much. Like, I'm... I will not feel good when I beat this. That's how mad I am at this. See, like, Prinny is, like, the opposite. The game Prinny, it's like a, it's like a rage platformer. Like, it pisses me off a lot, and then, like, when I beat it, I'm, like, so fucking excited. See, I love those kind of games. This is not... That type that, of game. Yeah, this is not I, Well, because, like, I think you'd be having more fun if, like, the retry wasn't, like, the fucking Trials of Hercules. So every time you die, you have to go back to the very beginning. If, like, it just respawned you where you died, you'd probably be much less mad right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they might have just saved my ass. Jesus. Oh, game, don't fuck this up. Oh, man. Thank oh. God. Clink we my did. shit. Pick up your oh. beer and clink me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm run I've got a plastic, I got a soda stream bottle filled with alcohol and coke. So I do feel better. I do feel good that I beat that. Man. Oh, crap. Again, I'm really sorry, everybody. That was that was a really long episode for 
a minute of gameplay. You know, it's it's funny how well this time out our episode's almost over. Yeah. Let's uh see where it drops us off and then maybe pick this up in the next broadcast. Yep. That was a very... Str- I'm, like, stressed out for you. Have you ever yeah. been, like, watching someone play a video game and they're having a shitty time and you get, like, pissed off oh, like, yeah. with them? Oh, yeah. Are they dead or sleeping? Oh, they're about to get bombed, I think. Oh, those guys. Those guys are dead. Yeah, <laughs> Guessing. Oh, don't you fucking tell me about the dying. <laughs> like, you know how many game overs I got? Off camera. <laughs> 50 billion. You must have tried, you must have gone through like 10 continues. At least. It got to the point with that like laser beam like bomb section where we would like slow way the fuck down on purpose to be like, try jumping from this exact position. Yeah. We are having to math our way through. Yeah, that's uh... Is this supposed to be meaningful? If we're talking over it, I don't know shit. I don't know. Yeah, this is... This was the hardest level in the game. Yeah, see, he's alive. Oh, good. <laughs> you get to deal with this all over again. Hide in your fucking shell. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How many bros are we going to lose on this adventure? Well, we lost that bro twice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this game Does he still count as one, then? No, it counts as two. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man, I sneezed and my asshole hurts. That's his name. Roden. I kept saying Tommy. I must have been thinking of the Green Ranger. I wonder what that sneeze is going to sound like on the microphone. I don't think I've ever sneezed on this show. It's going to be horrifying. <laughs> Watch it just be like <laughs> 10 million decibels. It's... What? That's it? There Some time, time later. later. Get the chocolate before you die, Jesus. Oh my god. You I didn't. Just... Wait, wait, wait. Why do we have to do that? You didn't even get money. Exactly. Isn't that... <laughs> You gave me the best look. <laughs> what? The look on your face was like you had legitimately just come back from like Iraq or Vietnam. And you're like, did we win the war? And you were like, you fucking tell me. Okay, so we're, this is going to be a little bit longer of an episode. Just a little bit. Since you guys had to deal with all that crap. Um, the love and the rage. You st- are you, yeah. So like. Oh, no. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. And that's no. the crown. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't no. fucking do this. Oh, is the sunflower dead? I don't know. I don't think I can go back there anymore. Which sucks, because I was going to go that way to get my freaking life. Let's see if I can cheat it. Oh, yeah. I think everybody else is fine. I don't but think But the you're... bee's dead. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to go this way. Like, you're not supposed to be able to, but... I have two lives right now, so I'm doing it. Oh, man. Yeah, see, everybody's fine over here. Dude, we're, like, close to beating this game, huh? Uh, in the next next filming session we do, I'll beat it. I've got one one or two missions left. Jesus. Well, I've, I've got one mission left, but it's a pretty long one, if I remember correctly. And it's the... <laughs> As shitty as this sounds, the war one basically prepares you for this one in teaching you gameplay wise. That sucks. But the war, uh, the war one is much harder. The next, I'm gonna, I've mentioned the next one once or twice, I believe, but I'm just gonna leave it up as a surprise. But, uh, if you've mentioned it, I don't fucking remember. Guess I'll have to go rewatch our entire fucking series. No, don't do it. That way it'll be a surprise. Yeah, see, she's still laughing. Oh, good. And she's still laughing. How can you laugh? What when... happened to the tickly bees? Do they just disperse? Yeah, they tickle. They're all they... Yeah, everybody's happy. Okay. 
Holy crap. What? Nothing, just like you're past that scene, so it's like weird to be playing like this quiet, like... Yeah, well, it's nighttime, but the... From everything exploding, that's part of the windmill that crushed her. And this is also part of it. So she's fucking dead. She's dead. Oh, they're dead, too. I forgot I run, ran them over. Well, they were enemies. It makes sense that they're dead. It's a really weird, like, walking sound. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm sure that was the final level. Probably <laughs> <laughs> not. Uh, well then. Well then. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just hides up in his thingy. I was just going to edit the footage to be like really clever. <laughs> Yeah, so he, we don't get to go to the final level because of rodent. Wait, how do we beat the game then? We don't. This is it? We win? Yeah. They, this is the finale? They they end it with you just getting pissed. <laughs> I don't think I've ever fucking said it to anybody. Hey, Devin, it's been like forever since i seen you. Next time. Hang out, you can buy me dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rodan's getting all emotional. I love the inspirational music in the background. This game has been pretty good. Yeah, dude. There's Pooh Mountain in the background. I, I, I try to forget that place, it was gross. I thought there was a B on his back. Yeah. No, I was like, stand on him and hit the B button. Contact sensitive. It's PR. They'll pick him up like Peach and a Radish in Super Mario 2. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Are we done? We're it's done. It's over? Oh, uh, wait, let's see. Okay. We're going to go through this on our next broadcast. Fucking see you then. <laughs>